Hey everyone, Jeremy Milosevic here. Please look in the description below so you can find a few links in case you're interested in building your upper register on the trumpet or maybe you have students that are interested in that. Or there's another link uh, in case you're interested in finding out what it's like sitting and playing in the orchestra pit for a Broadway show. I've got a free recording down there from many, many years ago where I demonstrate the skills necessary to get hired for shows on Broadway. And guess what? It works because shortly after that recording and way back in 1997, I moved to New York City and I've been getting hired for shows since way back once I moved here. So, okay, so this week I want to answer a couple more questions from someone who filled out my survey from a couple months ago. And, and here are those two questions from the same person. This person asks, I've been doing the Adam routine for over four years. Okay, so they are referring to Bill Adam, William Adam, who used to teach at Indiana University. So I've been doing the Adam routine for over four years, and I appreciate your perspective. Um, I also play in musicals. There are always a few numbers in every show that challenge my range and endurance. How do you prepare for hard shows and manage the demands during the run? Okay, great question. Uh, the best thing that has worked for me in most situations is to just never show up to a performance feeling tired. You know, uh, okay, I mean, you don't want to be practicing six hours a day and then going off to your performance feeling completely shot or spent. Just don't do that. Instead, if you really want to get a lot of practicing in, do it early in the day and leave yourself a big window of time so that you'll feel fresh for the performance. Now, uh, I've gotten to a point, and you will also get to a point where you'll be fresh even if you're playing a lot before performances. I mean, I've done four shows in a day and felt better and even stronger at the end of the day than at the beginning. So, but until you get to that point, don't overdo it. Just make sure you're doing what you need to do to feel fresh for that performance. Okay, so now the next part of the question is this. This person asks, uh, I also teach middle and high school students. I've tried to pass on Adam exercises to them, but they can't or won't practice them routinely. Which exercises do you think are most helpful and reasonable for young students? <clears throat> Great question. I have a little system that I use for my beginners and even the middle school or high school people that I teach so um, I do I start them off with long tones whether it's a beginner middle school or high school student and it's just a short routine about eight minutes maybe nine or ten minutes and then I augment that with songs so they're playing about 15 minutes per day maybe a little longer if they're motivated but half of what they're playing is going to be music and not just exercises so for the long tones, I try to get them started off on a second line G in the staff, and then we just descend chromatically. This depends on each student, because beginners sometimes have trouble with that note, so I tailor it to each student. And then after those long tones, I do something I call bugle exercises. They're based on Schlossbergs, and I go through the seven different positions of bugles on the trumpet, and I'm going to demonstrate a little of that in this video. And I only expand as far as the student's range will allow. So little by little, their range will develop, and then you can go up as high as they want or whatever. And in this video, I demonstrate going up to double high C, but you're not going to be doing that with absolute beginners or even maybe middle school kids. Who knows? You might be, but chances are maybe not. I'm just trying to show my system here. So uh, for some uh, people out there, you might even say, well, it's not even possible to go up to high C with younger students. And that's where I'm going to disagree with you because I've got my 10 year old daughter who are doing those exact exercises up to high C and high D. And then the 10 year old boy uh, in the show, the music man on Broadway, he's also doing that both of them up to high D high D above the staff and, uh, you know, even though that's not really common, it's totally possible if you'll just get kids who will commit this 15 minutes each day. Consistency is key. I mean, hey, they got to do their math homework, reading homework, so why not 15 minutes of this? So take a quick lesson, please, and you'll get the idea. Thanks.